Isekai anime have to be some of the most popular anime out right now. It seems like every couple months a new Isekai comes out and takes the internet by storm. Whether it's 2015's ReZero, 2018's Slime Isekai, or 2021's Mushiko Tensei. But for every ReZero, there's In Another World on my smartphone. And for every Slime Isekai, there's High School Prodigies Have It Easy Even In Another World. And for, and for every Mushiko Tensei, there's, there's a Do You Love My Mom and Her Two Multi-Hit Targets. Really? Is this real? Like actually? Fuck me, dawg. My point is that some of them are ass, so today I'm going to be explaining what they are and then ranting about them for a little bit. So, uh... <coughs> so if you don't know what an isekai is, it's basically an anime where the main character is transported to another world, usually being some sort of medieval fantasy world. In my opinion, the best isekai are usually the ones that add something different to it or try to change it up, like ReZero did with the whole dying over and over again thing or the devil is a part-timer where it just flips everything on his head. And while this is cool, it's also the reason why so many isekai just have stupid plots because they're trying to be different, resulting in shit like in another world with my smartphone. God, I hate that show. But on the other hand, you also have isekai like Konosuba that don't technically change the formula, but it's also extremely self-aware and just uses its setting to be funny as fuck. There's also anime like Sword Art Online, which some people might not see as particularly good, but I do think it popularized some of the trends that are prominent in isekai anime today, like overpowered MCs or a mainly female supporting cast. You know what I'm talking about? That, that female supporting cast, man. You know what I'm talking about? I love that. I feel like the reason Isekai is so popular is because anime fans just like the whole loser becoming a hero type beat. Me personally, I liked anime like ReZero and Konosuba because they were just good, but I could definitely see why an anime fan would enjoy that type of shit. It's kind of sad though. No offense. <clears throat> but why are so many of them bad? As I said before, it's like every season there's a handful of new Isekai, and more times than not, most of them are bad. I can't really speak Japanese, so I don't know the titles of these, but I'm scrolling through my anime list and a lot of these 2022 anime look like isekai. The market is oversaturated, and not only is it oversaturated, it's filled with trash. These isekai aren't just mid, they're fucking horrible, but they keep getting made. I mean, in another world with my smartphone, bro, have you watched that shit? It's garbage. It's about a dude that's in another world with his smartphone. These isekai have no substance, bro. The only thing they have going for them is the power fantasy thing that some guys still watch them for, but even then, there's still better shit to watch. You can always do better than this, bro. Always. I know that it seems like I'm just shitting on isekai, but I'm not. If I wanted to, I could make a whole list of fantastic isekai, but the problem is I could also make a list of horrendous isekai that would be two times longer. It's just annoying. The muddying the waters of wood would otherwise be a great genre, but fucking who cares? I'm just some nigga on the internet, bro. Make sure to like and subscribe, I'm trying to get to 80 subs, also watch the whole fucking video, comment, tell your friends about me, tell your mom about me, tell your dad about me, tell your fucking great uncle Roger about me, I don't go for it, I'll see you guys next time. Also, new fancy star online video coming soon.